town we're supposed to go to, so let's go to there. This is still Luminaire, by the way. I didn't change. I'm still the Let's Player you've been watching the whole time. A state of emergency is in effect. None are allowed inside the city without explicit permission. Wait! He's Prince Richard! Please forgive me, Your Highness. We shall inform the Duke of your arrival at once. Richard's a prince? That's awesome! If Richard is a prince, then what is Asbel? I'm... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I am now. Identity crisis, lol. It's the theme of the game. I apologize for making you wait. You're all free to pass. Thank you. Is Dallin at his manor? He is, Your Highness. All right, Hasbell. Let's find Duke Dallin and see if he can shed some light on our current situation. Well, gee, I guess this isn't such an emergency state as after all. As after all. Yes, that's, that's what I meant to say. As after all. As Bell after all. You had been Duke's manor. Nope. Take, take you for a fool. I do not like the music for this area that much. Yes, yes, Kenoda seeds all for me. Well, apparently I have a burn charm. <coughs> I don't remember getting it. Cool eyes. Alright, yeah, let's find an inn and see if there's any requests to turn in. My business is stealing your Magna Cartas. It's filled with room with Prius fragments, of which I will ironically not take for myself, for once. Yeah, I don't get it either. Ooh, an equipment store. Of which I have mainly partaken in already. What if I made a paralysis burn charm? See no reason not to. Except the fact that it cost fifteen hundred dollars without me being aware of it. Oh well, I got ten, <laughs> ten stamps for it. So mix milk with potato. Get to bake potato. Beef and potato. Beef potato stew. Pork and potato. Pork potato stew. Little winged potatoes. There we go. Ah, the end. How are my titles? Oops, done. Pasta Carbonara is ready! And the syrup bottles I earned, I can now turn in. Funny how that works out. And Shell Chalk. Hm. Now get five carrots and a green cryus. You betcha. Have you been researching this area long? Nope. Oh, where were you before? Oh, you know. Ever since I left my hometown, I've just been kicking around the world.
world. You traveled the world by yourself? Who exactly are you, Pascal? Funny, I totally ask myself that all the time. Wait a minute. You don't know who you are? For sure. I mean, do you know who you are? Uh, well... Like, why am I here and stuff? Where'd I come from and where am I? <gasps> Uh-oh. I saw you, Sophie! You can't hide! Do I know who I am? That's really the heart of the matter, isn't it? I fight for my friends. Power Shopper title. I need some carrots right stat now. <coughs> Don't program rooms that are a waste of your time. Phew! <laughs> Man, I'm noisy. Alrighty. Hello, maid. Fascinating. Always the fountain of information. <laughs> Wait, I missed the door. Ugh. Best princess stories. I think that's actually important. Rear entrance. I think there's a bell in the top of that tower, but I can't really see it from here. Psst, Asbel, over here! Yeah? Listen, there's something totally hinky about the way Sophie's acting toward Richard. Yeah, I noticed that. I've been thinking about it too, but I can't figure out why. Well, duh. Don't you have a clue? It's because of you and Richard. Huh? Yeah, Sophie's jealous that you guys are all more, more, more hanky panky all the time. Mama, wait, what? This is the weirdest things. Gibberish. entrance serve no purpose. Ooh, the Tweedles Marts. Between the monsters and the bandits, the old Grail High Roads is really dangerous. We're good, Tweedles. I bought my own speed. Old Grail High. <laughs> Thank you, children, for directing me to the Duke's establishment. <sighs> I'm not tired at all. Well to see you safe. I thought you were still in Verona and was even now preparing my troops for a rescue mission. I'm sorry to have worried you, but I will put your troops to good use in the coming days. I intend to defeat Uncle Cedric and avenge my father's death. I pray you will support me in this, Dallin. All that I call mine is yours to command, my lord. Now, please rise. Let me introduce you to my friends. This is Asbel. It is by his hand that I was able to escape the capital. And this is Sophie and Pascal. Both have been a great help to me as well. 
I am Asbel Lont. It's an honor to meet you, sir. Asbel Lont? Of the family Lont? Yes, sir. I am the eldest son of the late Lord Aston. I see. Well, you have my eternal thanks for saving His Highness. I could do no less, sir. I consider it my duty. These are indeed strange times for Lond. It seems Strata has seized de facto control of the area. Can you tell us of the current situation, both in Lond and elsewhere? We need to plan our next move. Of course. This way, please. Archduke Cedric currently holds power over Barona and the surrounding areas. Doesn't look ghetto at all. The Stratton military, however, appears to be acting independently. They seem to have occupied Lant of their own accord. This has allowed the Creus mines near Lant to come under their control. That gives them the power to cut off Windor's supply of Creus. It does indeed. If the situation is prolonged, this could become a very serious problem. I also heard something about an alliance between Windor and Strata. Yes, Archduke Cedric has maintained close ties with Strata for some time now. He most likely gave them Lont in exchange for turning a blind eye to his treasury, or perhaps for their outright cooperation. I'm sorry, Asbel. That can't be easy for you to hear. As Belland, the Prince and I must now engage in very sensitive discussions. I would ask that you please take your leave. Uh, wait! You must allow me to help you take back Barona. I want to help His Highness however I can. I would ask this as well, Dallin. I need Asbel. Very well. If that is your wish. Thank you, Dallin. Let me explain our position. There is but one road to the capital, and it leads through Wallbridge. The Archduke, perhaps anticipating an attack, has garrisoned a large number of troops there. A direct attack on Wallbridge would be suicide. If we can't go through the front, how's about just poofing right into the middle? Hey, that's right! There's a second device in the ruins! I see. So we could send someone to infiltrate Wallbridge and open the main gates. Is that possible? If so, it would put us at a distinct advantage. Allow me to infiltrate the fortress, your highness. I will carry out this mission without fail. Pascal, will you come and help me with the devices? You okay! I will go as well. I fight this battle for my late father. If I am to avenge him, let it be with my own hands. Your Highness. Enough. I'm going. Now let's gather the commanders and plan the rest of our strategy. Yes, sir. Oh, and Sophie, you can come too. <coughs> So we strike tomorrow. Things are really moving fast. Asbel, I'm sorry. I don't want to drag you into this. My uncle has many of the knights on his side, so some of them may be people you know. Don't worry. I knew that the moment I joined up with you. I am your sword, Richard. Use me as you will. Thank you, my friend. I would never say this to anyone else, but... I have no desire to fight a war. I wish there was another choice. The faster we finish this war, the sooner peace will be restored to our land. I'll do whatever I can to make that happen. Thank you. Now come, Asbel. We have a battle to win. And we will! I can't stop looking at Richard. I get nervous when I see him with Asbel. But Asbel and Richard are friends. Richard would never hurt Asbel, so why am I feeling worried? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. Game lays it on thick with that shadow of the four. Wait. Ray 
brave warriors of Windor. Today we march for the capital under the command of His Highness, Prince Richard. Your Highness, my men await your word, sire. Men of Windor, today we strike a blow for justice. I expect great things from you. May the wind guide our blades! May the wind guide our blades! All men, move out! Zigazagi, zigazagi, oi, oi, oi! It's time for us to infiltrate Walbridge. Please take good care of His Highness, Asbelant. Sir! Understood. Let's return to the ruins. We'll be able to access the fortress from within. Sword of the King. Oh, there's a port here. Eh, pasta. Well, seems I'm no longer needed here. What the hell are these? Yeah, we'll find out later. Onward! Ooh, really use that bunny hood from Majora's Mask. Have I said that before? I feel like I have. And then titles. They'll have a gay old time taking on Wellbridge. So the entrance to the ruins was. Hmm. Let's see. Where was it exactly? You go east all the way down to the end of this road. It's where we saw Sophie's illusion, remember? It was just before Wallbridge, correct? I recall the entrance being in a thicket to the right. See? Richard's all smart. Try not to forget next time, Asbel. I hadn't forgotten the first time. Come on, let's just go. No need to get sulky now. I wasn't sulky either! It made you pay it here, dude. Okay, fall! 
You thought to stop us? Ha! I'd be impressed if even half the people that watch my videos understand the references I'm making. Because I'm not an original person. I can't help myself. You thought to stop us? Yes, yes, the more defense, the better. I get more potatoes. I can. Yes, yes, very good, very good. You made a potato gel. It does nothing. Be careful, everyone. Like the old days. <laughs> Physical defense? Yeah, that's a good idea. She needs it. Enemies, very well. Okay, blow him down. Lightning blade. Away with you, pest. Evil difficulty, aren't I? So there's the illusion of the girl and then Lambda. Could that mean that Lambda? Are you thinking about something? I'm wondering about this Lambda thing that was in the records. I'd like to know, too. Maybe touching you will help us figure it out! Really? I guess we could try. Don't listen to her. She's lying, Sophie. Nothing so far. What are you doing? Oh, I'm touching me. She found a loophole to my logic. There should be a device here that lets us exit from the ruins into Wallbridge above us. Okay, let's go find it. <laughs> okay, thanks. Shall we begin? Freeze! 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 
I will grow strong enough to stand on my own! focus on defense for my characters. Before we enter Wallbridge, let's go over the plan one more time. Wallbridge is divided into northern and southern sections, each with a bridge that operates independently. Our ultimate goal is to lower the south bridge and open the gate there. However, if we can raise the north bridge, it will cut off my uncle's reinforcements. I'd like to deal with both bridges while we're there. Once we're inside, our first priority will be to raise the North Bridge. After my uncle's forces are cut off, we'll proceed to lower the South Bridge. Understood? Good. Pascal, if you'd be so kind as to activate the device. Sure, I'll just give it the old chunk chunk, and then <laughs> bam! Easy peasy, nice and breezy! He says the weirdest things. Are we inside Wallbridge? Yes, and we are likely surrounded by my uncle's men, so we should move with purpose. Let's make for the mechanism that controls the North Bridge. Well, you don't want to masquerade in their armor? No? Less likely to get caught. Okay. I, I, I can see why they named this place Wallbridge. Yeah! 
is all. Whether they're traitors or not, I'm still raising arms against my own people. It pains me to think of it. You don't need to suffer like this, Richard. All of your fear and doubt, let me bear it for you. That's why I'm by your side, after all. I need you to keep on. That's the only way I can be saved. How will that save you? Being your sword is a kind of salvation. I don't have a place in this world, but your hope gives me hope. In that case, Asbel, let's continue on. You got it. To himself, what a loser. Everyone has their own hope. <laughs> 